Hi, it's me, Fluffy. I know it's been a while since I've um, done a video, but I, I wanted to show you an album that I made. Um, it's for a friend's friend. It's the first time that I've made an album for someone um, that I did not know, so I'm kind of nervous. It's a baby boy album, and it's a baby boy first year. And the concept of a first year album is that it gives, uh, it's done in month order of whenever the baby was first born. So in this case, it starts out in October because this baby uh, was born in October. Um, all the papers that I used here are from Coordinations or it's the die cuts with a view, um, stacked Nana's baby or Nana's baby boy um, are the pattern paper and then the cardstock is Coordinations. Um, very inexpensive to make. I bought the Coordinations paper for like five pieces for 95 cents and then I bought the Nana's pack on itself for $9.99. Um, the ribbon I used is from home. It's a very thick book. So um, I couldn't use my bind at all to um, actually bind the album. I had to use office rings and then I just kind of dressed them up with some ribbons here uh, just so that you can't just see rings hanging out here. I have these cute little buttons. I don't know if you can see them, but these cute little buttons that I bought at Michael's, I think they were like, they were some random place at the, in the store, like where house stuff is or where you could miniature house things or I don't remember where. But they're buttons, but I just shaved off the back and then I used glue dots to put them on. But there's like a baby pig and he has on a bib and there is a lion and he has a baby bottle. And I think this is a donkey, I'm not too sure, and he has a pacifier and then there's a giraffe and he has a blanket. And then there's a little baby elephant she has on a diaper and a rattle. But um, I just thought they were cute. That kind of went with the album. Um, and so I went ahead and just stuck them on top here. The album comes with basically three templates that you do four times. So it's three times four equals 12, which is how many months there are in a year. Um, the first page though, um, if you'll notice, has a little acetate uh, page on, on here and I did sew on the pages here. Uh, it has two baby bottles and the parents can use this to either, you can pull them out and write on them, but they can write down love notes to their child or hopes and dreams or what they thought the first day bringing the baby home. Um, oh, and I've also bought these little stickers, these cute little packs of stickers, again, from Joann's Half Off. I think they were like $2 for a pack of one pack, and I bought two packs. Um, but I, I got these, and I put them throughout the album because they're already pre-done for you. The bottle is actually from Gypsy Wanderings, and I just, um, with my Gypsy, I, I hid the little squirrely, squirrely thing that's in the middle, and I manipulated it so that it's thinner and a bit taller. Um, I tried to put ribbons anywhere you have to pull anything. That way you're not actually touching the album itself, but you're just touching the ribbon. So anyway, that's the um, intro page. And then this is the first page, which again starts in October because this baby was born in October. And so it has a, a, a calendar here so that the parents can write down, you know, first whatever, in this case, whenever the baby was born, when they brought him or her or him home because it was a boy's album. It has places here for um, pictures. And I have a place for a five by seven and a four by six, and then they can put two more four by sixes or they can journal and put a four by six, whatever they choose. I try to make these albums so that the picture sizes in here are um, standard sizes because uh, typically these go to non-scrapbookers and they're not gonna spend time on Photoshop trying to Photoshop pictures to make them um, a certain size. So I try to make it a more uh, generic size for the pictures. I also use my um, Cricut Imagine and cut out these baby bottles and then I stamp them with these stamps that I had. Um, but I use the baby bottles just to indicate what month. So this is month one. Uh, month two again has a five by seven and one four by six. And then a little, this tab here, you use a ribbon to pull out. And then I also added some, with my IROC some little bling on each one of the, of the uh, name of the month. I used my Gypsy to weld together, uh, I think it was Planting School Book is the font that I used on this, but it just makes it easier for the parent to like pull it in and out without having to touch so much of the actual paper. Um, here's, the, here's the last template, a five by seven, and here again, journaling spots or places that they can cut pictures. And the, like I said, most of the pictures are four by six by five by seven, but here it, it, it isn't just because of the size of the album. I don't know if you can tell, but I did some embossing on one of the layers here um, with the paisley from the cuddle bug. Uh, just to give a little texture, this book was getting really thick, so I had to really watch how many embellishments that I put in here. But in here, the um, 
calendar isn't on the inside. And again, there's a place here for the parent uh, to hold it so that they don't actually touch the paper too much. And again, here's a template, five by seven. They can put another five by seven here. They can journal here. Uh, let's see if you can see that journal here. This is actually from the Cricut Imagine also, the, the called Nursery Tales. I didn't want to do all the different layers. I know we really like layers, um, especially with our with our Cricut, but um, I just couldn't put in, I mean, as you can tell, this it's a monster as it is. So I just cut two of them and I put one on top of the other with pot dot, pop dots. And then I just used a little bit of stickles to like give it some little bling to it, just to give it some texture without giving it too much thickness. And, uh, oh, and you notice, you'll notice just to put a little dress up the little tab here, I used my Stampin' Up scallop um, punch and then the smaller punch that goes on the inside. And what I would do is I would punch out a punch um, a hole in a piece of paper and then I would take the scallop and just do right along the edge and punch it again and then I would use the circle punch again to cut the edge of the paper and then I would just glue this on on top and I'll try to do a video or on that later on if that didn't make any sense. Five by seven again, cute little sticker from the sticker pack and then this calendar on the inside. Another thing from the Cricut Imagine, I just doubled it up and then the bottle with the six month place to journal and pictures. But it's a pretty simple album to make. Um, it's just, you know, you can put a variety. I did do a little variety here and a little place for them to hold on here. But um, it's a pretty simple album to make. It's very labor intensive, cutting all the paper and um, embellishing, but um, I, I enjoy making them. But I just thought I would show it to you just even if um, I didn't have like, I didn't put a lot of stuff here, but I did put a little dots here. I, think. I actually got this idea from Monique Griffith um, because she does that a lot on her layout. So I figured I'd try it on here with one of those Signo white pins just to give a little detail to where they're gonna put a picture. You're not gonna be able to see that. When you're looking at this album, it's, I mean, it's kind of pretty to look at, but there's gonna be a picture here and a picture here, a picture here, 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 here. So um, a lot of this paper is gonna be covered up um, when they're done with the album, but I want it to at least look pretty, uh, as the months go on before they even get to that month. So I don't want her the first month have just a piece of white paper here. I want it to look a little dressed up. And again, just another page. Let's see if I can show all that. I just love these little stickers here that are little hanging clothes. I was going to try to make one with my Imagine with the nursery tales because it has cute little things you can hang, but it's just really getting close to Christmas and I had to get this album out. I have so many other things that I still have to do. I'm sure you can see part of my scrap room and it is a disaster right now. But, and this is the last month, which in this case is September. A little place to five by seven and a place to either journal or put another picture in journal, but however they choose. And then again, from the uh, nursery tales from the Imagine, I just love it. My Imagine, I know people have had problems with theirs. I really haven't had a problem with mine that wasn't user user problem, it, uh, me doing something wrong. I, I thoroughly enjoy it and it really made this album a lot easier to make in the long run. Kind of, it's so tight because it's just, it's just huge. But anyway, this is my uh, baby album that I've made. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave a comment and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, thanks for watching.